Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to drop a little audio in here to explain this real short video. I was on Lake Ray Roberts on July 3rd and 4th. And on the 3rd, I didn't find any common carp really. But I was hearing largemouth bass out on the edges and I also came across some buffalo. And we all know how hard it is to catch buffalo. Especially on the fly. And I'm not talking to you grain fed guys. Um, and so I managed to catch this one. He probably came in at a, close to 10 pounds. Very nice, broad, fat fish. And uh, gave me a real run on my six weight. I was really not prepared to, uh, in any way, to go after largemouth or uh, buffalo. But that's the thing is when I was out there, I did see uh, some largemouth moving and uh, making noise. So. When I went out again on July 4th, I kind of targeted the uh, common carp, which were much more abundant on the 4th. Buffalo are a uh, fantastic fish. they just uh, very hard to catch. Largemouth, on the other hand, if you got the right fly, which I was using a couple of different flies, um, they uh, are much easier to catch. So let's move on, hopefully soon to day two which is July 4 and uh, we'll just get a real quick shot of this uh, largemouth bass I caught it probably went about five pounds the, uh, the first one I caught two that day which was yesterday one was three and one was five so they were really chunky and of course we got to pay attention to temperature now and water temperature and it's cooled off again in the last few days while I was out of town and so that means that uh, the action is back on in the shallows for bass. It won't last very long, I would say in about a week. Temperatures climb back up to around 100 and water temperature goes up, they're gone again. But for now, we're having a good time on the flats on Lake Ray Roberts. I'll tell you what, looking at that uh, buffalo a second time, he may not have been 10 pounds, but he gave 10 pounds worth of fight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure and check back with the website, www.texasflycaster.com. And as always, thanks for watching.